Hey there, and greetings from the Chao Phraya River, which runs through uh, Bangkok, Thailand. The sun has just set, and I'm just walking along the river here. A beautiful and peaceful evening. So in this video, I wanted to address the issue of if we actually create our own reality, then why don't we just create happiness? Why isn't life just necessarily fun and easy and abundant and you find the love of your life and you're joyful and excited and in a positive frame of mind all the time? Why isn't it that easy? Why don't we just choose to be happy and that's all there is to it? Um, and I'll just mention that Teal Scott basically addressed the same uh, issue in a video titled If We Create Our Own Reality, How Do You Explain Suffering? And so I'm basically answering the same question, but I will be giving my own take and my own perspective on this. So the reason is because the conscious mind is not all that there is to consciousness. Our conscious thoughts is not all that there is to the totality of our being, to all uh, that we are. If it was just a matter of conscious thoughts, then we just choose to think positive, happy thoughts, and that's all there would be to it and things would be nice and easy. Things would be too easy in my opinion, um, but uh, it would certainly simplify things. The conscious mind, the mind in general, is only one aspect of consciousness. It is basically the, the tip of the iceberg. Um, so as I understand it then, there are four basic parts to our consciousness. There is the mind, the mental body, there is the spiritual body, there is the emotional body, and then there is the physical body. And these are all integral aspects of our, of our being, of our consciousness, of, of who we truly are. And so e even the physical body is, is part of consciousness, and that's something to keep in mind. Remember that Jesus apparently ascended with his body, brought his body with him, and that is a powerful statement that the, the body is not something simply to be discarded, um, which is simply a, you know, an empty vessel for our consciousness, but it is actually part of our consciousness. So we are creating our reality in part through our conscious thoughts, but also uh, through these other aspects of our being, which to a great extent we are disconnected from or just unaware of, um, not accessing, not fully utilizing in our lives. Even our conscious thoughts are to a great extent a mess of sorts. We are filled with fears, anxieties, worries, um, constricting and faulty belief systems, projecting experiences from the past onto the future. Even our conscious thoughts are uh, to a great extent a just whirlwind of uh, you know anxieties and problems and and negative thinking so that's the first problem and then you have these other aspects of ourselves which also need to be taken into account which need to be uh, factored in and integrated with our conscious mind so that we are in touch with connected with embracing utilizing all these different parts of our being and much of these other aspects of ourselves are in the subconscious um, so you have your conscious thoughts but then deep within all of us are various um, other parts of consciousness based on the sum total of our experiences that's really who we are is the sum total of our experiences um, which have affected us and have given us the perspective on reality that we now hold in terms of you know, how we approach our lives, what we think is going to happen in life, um, what we think about ourselves, much of which we are unconscious of and not, not really aware is driving our lives and creating our reality without our realizing it. And so really to a great extent, the path of self-growth and self-evolution needs to be about 
accessing these deeper parts of our being and and connecting with these other parts of ourselves other than just the conscious thoughts and the conscious mind. So when I say that we are the sum total of our experiences, the good news is that even though you can't change the past, you can't change past experiences and make them positive experiences even if they were uh, difficult and challenging experiences, but you can change how you feel about them and how they affect you now today. And so that is really what we are um, reaching towards and and seeking to affect is how these past experiences that did not have a positive impact on us, that negatively impacted our consciousness and our belief system, how we can change the effect that they've had on us, even if we can't change those actual experiences. Because if you can change how you feel about past experiences, that becomes part of your experience, part of the sum total of your experience, and, and factors into who you are today. So it's not like if you've had a whole bunch of bad experiences in your past, and then you're stuck with that, and that's just going to be um, you know, affecting your reality for the rest of your life. You can change your consciousness now, in the present moment, despite your past experiences. So this really needs to be um, one of the main focuses of the spiritual path, is that of seeking to dive down into the deeper parts of ourselves, into the subconscious, and dredge up some of these patterns, emotions, belief systems. So this is why I'm not such a huge fan or not particularly promoting um, positive thinking and uh, visualization things that are basically working with the mental body, the conscious thoughts and conscious mind, even though, though these certainly can have their, their applications and be helpful, um, but these don't really get to the root of the problem. These don't really get down deeper into these other parts of ourselves that really need to be changed. It's kind of like if you have a cavity in um, the root of your tooth, and you're trying to apply teeth whitener to solve the problem, that may make you look a little bit better, but that is not going to solve the problem of this cavity. So we are indeed creating our reality through our belief system and the vibration of our consciousness. But to understand that that reality is being created by more than just what we're thinking about today, what we're you know, noticing in our conscious mind. And to keep in mind to seek, to look deeper within, to try to discover what some of these subconscious fundamental thought patterns and emotional patterns are within us that are impacting our reality that are impacting our physical body. So that's how our, how our physical body um, is part of our consciousness, is that these denied negative emotions and uh, negative belief systems have a way of embedding themselves into our physical body and creating disease and cancer and sickness because the body is kind of the last place that they end up if they get denied um, elsewhere in, in the other parts of our being. All right, well, the light is definitely waning here. It's funny because there's these street lamps right here, or river lamps, I guess, uh, that for some reason aren't coming on. I suspect that as soon as I turn my camera off, then they'll come on and it'll be nice and light. But um, anyways, thanks for watching, and hopefully I at least got the basic idea across that we are creating our reality through the sum total of who we are, and much of that is subconscious, unconscious to us, and it is accessing these other parts of our being, which can be accessed even if they are, you know, not within our conscious awareness now. We can go into the subconscious, um, and that is really where we need to be diving down into in order to truly tap into 
these deeper patterns that are affecting our lives and be able to change them so that we are changing the totality of, of who we are. So um, thanks a lot for watching and take care.